Hi, my name is Ahmed Fatid. I'm from the Biomedical Image Analysis Group in Imperial College London, and it's my pleasure to present our work on training deep segmentation networks on texture encoded input. One widely used explanation uh, for the effectiveness of CNNs, convolutional neural networks, in classification and also in semantic segmentation tasks is the so-called shape hypothesis, where the idea is low-level shape features are combined in increasingly complex hierarchies until the object could be readily classified or detected. Um, however, recent work in the machine learning literature suggests that actually uh, there's an important role for visual texture uh, in object recognition tasks, as opposed to shape. Uh, so for instance, uh, a recent analysis by Garrison and colleagues supports this claim and illustrates that CNNs trained on ImageNet are actually strongly biased towards the recognition of texture representation as opposed to shape. Um, we think this is directly relevant to medical imaging uh, and particularly relevant to the kind of work that we do on developmental brain mapping. So for instance, one, uh, one task that we tend to do quite often is trying to find some sort of a mapping uh, using deep learning between an input image of a developing brain and a unatal brain. Uh, and a uh, semantic segmentation output um, with classes uh, such as white matter, gray matter, CSF, etc. And whilst this sounds like a really straightforward task that might have already been solved with CNNs, uh, actually it's rather difficult to achieve uh, for a variety of reasons, but mainly because uh, there are variations in both shape and texture, as you can see in this slide. Uh, so this is this is one of the main reasons we we think that recent findings actually question our fundamental understanding of CNNs and how CNNs work are directly relevant to this area in medical imaging, especially if we need to use deep neural network to achieve common tasks. Um, and the, the bigger project that we're part of is called the Develop, Developing Human Connectome Project, which aims to uh, build the first 4D connectome map of early life. And this uh, kind of data that we work with is heterogeneous and continuously varying makes it really important for us to better understand the role of visual texture when developing CNNs on such uh, heterogeneous neuroimaging data. The approach that we're taking to uh, achieve this is actually quite straightforward. Um, we compared the performance of several CNNs, namely CNNs that were or CNN that was trained on conventional uh, T2-weighted data of neonatal brain versus other CNNs that were encoded with textural maps of the image. Those CNNs do not see the original data, but rather see a textural representation of the data that is computed using uh, the well-established local binary pattern approach. Uh, in terms of our data setup, we use around uh, we use 558 3D uh, data sets um, publicly available from the Developing Human Connectome project uh, with 10 different tasks. So it's a really complex segmentation task. And we use uh, an open source uh, 3D CNN architecture uh, called DeepMedic. And these textual maps actually look quite different depending on the parameters that we choose to encode them. So a textual map of um, that uses a one pixel distance could actually look quite different to a texture map that uses 10 pixel difference. So we use two different texture maps and we compare those to conventional T2 weighted images as inputs to separate network. And our results show that actually it's, it's quite possible to achieve a really good segmentation performance using networks that did not see the original T2 images. These networks only saw um, the textual uh, representations of the images that were explicitly computed using uh, LBP algorithm. Um, and they achieved a performance that's comparable to the network that was trained on the T2. The, this is the first study that we're aware of that shows um, that on neonatal data, neuroimaging data of neonates, uh, CNNs can indeed be trained on explicit textual representations of the data in order to achieve segmentation performance that is comparable to models trained on the original T2 weighted scan. Thank you very much for listening and we hope that you uh, enjoy reading our paper.